bacon's in the fridge. Thought you might like to make me a nice breakfast. Uh, if you think I'm scared of what you're going to do with that poxy letter... Oh, yeah, you're right. I mean, what damage could I possibly do with this? To Ben, you have a cuckoo hiding in your nest. <laughs> Abby Branning is a liar and a cheat and she'll do anything to keep you by her side. There was no baby. There was never a baby. Pretending to be pregnant to keep your gay boyfriend. Could you get any sadder? It's like something out of a magazine. <laughs> the only thing ever inside that girl was malice and hate. Get rid before her poison does any more damage. Well, that's all lies. Oh. Oh, well, that's me convinced. Oh, let's just forget all about it, shall we? Oh, Abs, um, I hope you don't mind, but I made a few copies. Stuck one up in the minute mark, the calf, and posted one through the door of the arches. You didn't? Nah. But I could have. I think it's best you keep on my good side, don't you? Beautiful. Why don't you just tell me what I need to do to keep your mouth shut? Where's the fun in that, Abs? This way, I'll get to think something good that'll make you sweat. Double bubble. <laughs> Since when did you know where the dusters were kept? Well, with Sharon gone, we're all gonna have to learn new skills unless you want to live in a tip. Your, um... Your dad's credit card. If you don't spend too much, he probably won't notice for a while, and if he does, I'll think of a way to square it with Ben. You must be desperate. What's the matter? Afraid Ben will believe me instead of you? Oh, you poor cow. All that trouble and he still loves Lady Gaga more than he loves you. Shut your mouth. Dad's ill. His wife's legged it. The last thing I want to do is cause him more grief. Doesn't mean you're off the hook, though. Just means I'm going to have to think harder about what you can do for me. Watch this space. Don't be a stranger, all right? Thank you. How'd it go? It's a trip to the hospital. How'd you figure went? Ignore him. He's been miserable the whole way home. Must be time for his nap, I think. Listen, shouldn't you two be at the arches? Or am I going to lose my business as well as me off, right? You could draw straws. Short straw has to stay with him. No, but for hang around. I'm here if he needs anything. Yeah, you're a proper little Florence Nightingale, aren't you? Look, I'll get to the arches, sort these services out. Hold on, why am I drawing straws? Not fast, nor last. Ben! Yeah. Been tidying all morning. Don't want this place going down the tubes without Sharon around. Nice one. Sorry. It's not like you didn't know she was going. Oh, someone stick the kettle on, eh? Well, are you hungry? I can cook you something. As long as it starts in beans and ends in toast. I can do a lot more than that, actually. Start by making the tea, Cinderella, yeah? Then when we need someone to cause a panic or be a general pain in the bum, we'll let you know. Why do you always have to treat me like that? And we'll choose. I'm trying to talk to you. Yeah, and I'm ignoring you. She don't know what you're talking about. I'm trying to be there for Dad, and all you do is treat me like I'm a kid. Being older doesn't automatically mean you know everything. I'm not saying I know everything. Just that I know more than you. You really think you're the only one around here who matters? <laughs> you are a kid, Louise, all right? Now, if you want to help Dad, go back to your mums and stop causing everyone stress. <laughs> 